going on guys? We're at the shop today, it's crazy. We got some work to do. I put this on the end of the rack here so maybe you guys can sit here and watch me work. Um, we got some Octominers down right now um, and I gotta go fix them. So right now I'm just kinda, I think these ones probably just need their SSDs replaced. So let's go figure it out. So while we're waiting for that one, I got it on the computer right now, it's burning the image. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go find the other one that I need to do. Currently right now, I have uh, another image burning right now, but this is the one I finished. So a little, little trick here. If you want it to boot into somebody else's farm and you don't want to have to do the rig ID and password, what you need to do is, is in the rig, you create a rig comp file and you copy and paste their farm hash. And this way, you can just plug it in and it'll put it automatically on their farm. So I have an Optiminer over here and Currently right now, this customer has been with us for about two years and he's been a really loyal customer, but um, he fell under hardship and he just he just needs his equipment back. So we're, I'm gonna take out the GPUs and then I'm going to, uh, and then I'm gonna set them off to the side and this way I can clean them up, you know, at a, um, when I get, I'm gonna take these back to my house and I really just try to focus on getting as much work done here as possible. So cleaning like GPUs and stuff like that, I'll take, home back with me to Missouri and then I'll I'll box it up, ship it up and send it out to the customer. Alright now that I put I put a new SSD in that rig and another rig all the way down to this side. Now I'm gonna go in Hive OS. I'm gonna go see if they actually showed up and they're working again. Okay, so both of those Octominers, that Octominer and the one way down there are working again. So I'm gonna go in our ticket system, that we, our new ticket system for Terra, and now I'm gonna go tell the customers that their ticket's complete, the work's been successfully completed, and their Octominers are back online. So let's go, let go find their customers real quick. Marquez is done. I'm going to Marquez is done. Okay. And it looks like we really only have one more ticket over here. And it's because a client, um, we have a really big client over here. He has about 33 octa miners and he actually turned off all his rigs. And I, I thought I turned them all on last time, but maybe there's one that's having a problem. So now, I'm gonna go to his Hive OS farm really quick. I'm gonna see which ones, you know, are operational or not operational or whatever. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna mark that also as complete because all of his Octominers came back online without a problem. So we're gonna go back into our tickets here. And there is a ticket for this customer and we're going to mark it as done. And there we go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is, is I need to start, uh, you know, blowing out the Octominers. So I'm gonna get that kind of set up and then I'm gonna, I'll drag the camera over. All right, so we're over here on the, uh, other side of the building here. And this is where I kind of do, uh, this is where we blow out all the rigs. You can see we have all the extra boxes and uh, some spare Octominers over here for, um, you know, if things, you know, you know fail or something like that. Um, but you can see right here, 
I have the OptiMiner over here, as well as I also have a, we have our air compressor over go over over there. So kind of a key thing is, is when you're using an air compressor is I bought a, a really nice uh, water separator, right? The reason for this is, is because of all the cool air that keeps being pulled in by the air compressor, it's going to give you condensation and moisture. So if you are going to use an air compressor, you really need to pay attention to what you're doing because you don't want to be getting moisture on your GPUs. So you need to pay very close attention to what you're doing because you can cause a lot of damage. So something to keep in mind is, is like, it takes me a little bit of what, it takes me some time, right? Because I have to unplug, I have to go in the hot aisle, unplug it, go around, pull it out, walk it all the way to the other side of the building, you know, unscrew it, and it takes a little bit of time to do each one because we don't want the dirt and the dust to go back in to where we're blowing out from, right? We don't want to blow rigs and blow the dirt into other rigs, right? So we have to bring it over here to the other side of the facility. So each OctaMiner gets blown out. Mathematically, I do about 20 every time I come out, which means that each one typically gets blown out uh, twice a year. Now, we did just get a new filter wall, so we are, we are filtering more of the dirt and, and, uh, and all that other stuff, pollen and everything like that, so uh, we don't expect as much dirt to come in anymore, which is gonna be nice. So maybe I could reduce the blowing out to once a year, but currently my rotation is still twice a year right now that every rig gets blown out. Thank <laughs> you.